Hey, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Today we're going to continue our series of looking at all the Gerber Bear Grylls Survival Series knives and tools that were released in 2012 by looking at the Bear Grylls sliding saw. So let's get started. So my first impressions of this Bear Grylls sliding saw is that it's compact and lightweight, although it's not cheap feeling. It feels pretty good in my hands. The saw blade retracts into the handle and it comes with the Bear Grylls Pocket Survival Guide. Although Gerber is not really known for tools such as sliding saws, its parent company, Fiskars, is. So in this case, Gerber really benefits from Fiskars' success in the pruning saws department. So the closed length is about 8.5 inches. The blade length is just over 6 inches, with an overall length of almost 15 inches. So in my former days, I owned a landscape company and I've used a lot of pruning and folding saws. Most portable pruning type saws like this simply fold to protect the blade and to protect you from getting cut. But this one retracts by turning a knob and sliding the saw in or out. When the blade's extracted out of the handle, there's this texturized knob that fastens down really tight and holds the blade firmly in place. I was pretty surprised at how tight the fit and finish is and how the blade really doesn't wiggle around once it's secured. Something interesting with this handle, it's got a slight curve to it so that when the blade is back in the handle and you tighten it down, even if this knob would come loose, the blade of the saw is probably not going to come out of the handle because it kind of gets hung up in the center here. See that? This handle's made out of a pretty durable plastic that should last really well, unless you run it over with your truck or something. The handle's covered in a really similarly textured, rubberized coating that's found on most of the other knives and tools in the Bear Grylls lineup. I like the handle, it's comfortable, it makes gripping pretty easy even when it's wet. On the bottom are two holes that are kind of innovative because they're there so that the saw could be lashed to a pole if you wanted to extend it to reach a higher branch or, or cut something that's further away. I also like the positioning of these holes so you can make a sling and just kind of throw it over your shoulder or you can tie it onto your pack. This blade's made of SK5 steel which is a high carbon steel that offers a really ideal balance between good blade toughness and it's got excellent edge holding capabilities because you never really want to have to sharpen your saw. The teeth of the saw blade are a pretty aggressive crosscut pattern which is really designed to slice through wood with each forward and backward stroke. However, in our testing we found that the saw works best as a pull saw, meaning it's most effective when you're drawing it towards you. If you try to cut both ways, you're going to be quite frustrated with this saw. But when using it as a pull saw, it made quick work of everything under about 2 inches in diameter. Slicing through trees and branches greater than 2 or 3 inches in diameter is going to take considerably more work. Under reviews for this tool are very high, generally well over 4 out of 5 stars. We rate this tool at 4.0 stars out of 5 for quality, innovation, and its ability to cut. We take one star off because it would have been nice if it would have had a more indestructible handle for wilderness survival, maybe even a sheath for belt carry, and something that could hold the Bear Girls pocket guide and keep it with the saw. We also realized that all these things would have increased the price point considerably, but they still would have been nice. All that being said, the Bear Girls sliding saw is an effective and handy tool for camping, backpacking, or just general adventuring. If you want to clear brush and trees, build a shelter, an emergency raft maybe, or cut some wood in the wilderness, less than 25 bucks online. This is a really good tool to consider for your next adventure, for just having around the house to prune some trees. So we've just taken a look at the Gerber Bear Grylls sliding saw. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can check out links to all the stuff we mentioned in this review and all of the new Gerber Bear Grylls gear in the video description below. And if you'd like to support our efforts to bring quality survival gear reviews your way, you can do one of two things. On YouTube, you can check out our sponsors at the bottom of or to the right of this video. Or you can find any gear you need on Amazon through one of the links in the video description. And of course, you can find all of our gear reviews and survival tips at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash altsurvivaltips. So I'm David, thanks for watching, and remember, be prepared because you never know.